quick 2017. I'm Tonic, and I'm joined here by Used Pizza and Countdown, who will be playing Kirby Superstar 100% race later today. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. 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 So this is a big race. Can you guys talk to me a little bit about what you did to prepare? Countdown, you want to start us off? Yeah. The um, game is kind of notoriously bad on emulator. So uh, I did when I wanted to do some you know, spot checking of something very small, I would do it on emulator and spend a lot of time playing on emulator before switching back to console because of the different, the way it handles lag really poorly versus how the actual game is. So um, I made a conscious effort to, to split my time between emulator and console. Got it. So DP, when you were here, what were you like getting ready for? Have you been playing a lot or? Yeah, so the two of us have done quite a few races this week. We just pretty much do like full game playthroughs to make sure everything's fine. You can go back and improve on anything that went super badly in the middle of it. But since there's no way to like use save states on console like a bunch of other games, you pretty much just have to grind it out. Cool. Long sessions. Yeah, definitely. So can you talk to me a little bit about what goes into what we'll be seeing for this game as far as like some of the kind of the different elements of what we were going to see out of a race from four highly skilled players. So, DP, you want to? Yeah, so this is going to be 100% run. So Kirby Superstar is comprised of a bunch of different uh, little games that make it up. And there's a bunch of powers in them. A lot. There's a lot of movement-based powers. And then there's some even crazier stuff at the end, like the plasma ability, which you'll see is uh, quite physically taxing <laughs> on the controller. Watching all four of us do it at the same time is going to be a treat for sure. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys got your GIF softwares ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. So when you guys are, um, I guess you've, you've been in GDQs before doing Kirby Superstar, right? So Countdown did this in 2014, you did it in 2015. So can you talk to me a little bit about what you guys want to show out there today versus what you've done in the past? Countdown, you want to take it? Well, <laughs> I think I've got about 10 minutes of, right. uh, of time that can come off of my last GDQ appearance at this game. So um, <laughs> there's a lot, uh, mainly not dying and not dying. All right. Oh. Cool. That's good. But really, actually, it's just be more be comfortable in the moment. Cool. How about you? Uh, just pretty much the same stuff as before. I just want to, there's uh, some very vital tricks to get certain powers throughout the runs. A few of those. It'd be nice to get those yeah. soon <laughs> and not lose a bunch of time. Got it. Cool. So you guys are racing, the both of you, and then we're also joined by ZZZ Honky and uh, Cesare Baco. So due to an effort from a marathon called the JRTA Marathon, we were able to raise funds to get these guys to come here. So it's really cool that we're having two representatives of the United States and then two representatives of Japan playing. So can you just talk to me a little bit about what it's like to have two Japanese community members come over and compete with you guys? Uh, it's pretty crazy because they're both like legends of Kirby games. Uh, ZZZ Honky currently has the world record in the game. He's very dedicated. He loves Kirby. So I know he's, yeah, he, uh, loves Kirby. he really wants to win. Uh, I mean, it's just great to play against international competition. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they, I mean, for me, I think I played like six months longer than you have, and um, they both kind of came out of nowhere. I, I, I hadn't really been in touch with many Nico runners, but once um, once they started appearing on Twitter and, and with the help of Ox was kind of bridging the gap there, um, you know, it was it was nice to find that I wasn't the I wasn't alone, or you know, Josh and I weren't alone. Yeah, absolutely, cool. All right, I think we're going to take some questions from Twitter. So let's load one up. The first one is, which category do you prefer, 100% or any percent? So you guys are running 100% today, and they're mm -hmm. fairly different categories. Can you talk a little bit about which one you like more? <laughs> Countdown, take it away. <laughs> um, I like 100% a lot more. Um, there's just so much more to show off. Any percent is, um, it has its merits and it uses, uh, it shows a lot of cool stuff off with jet, um, the jet power, but I think 100% has all of that with jet and then wing, wheel, plasma, you get to see some suplex, some yo-yo. Cool. Um, and, and not only that, but you get to see all of the cool rooms that you would, there's so many rooms and areas that you would just go straight past in any percent. Got it. Um, so you just get to show off more of the game, and I love it, so. Cool, cool. All right, we'll take a next question. This will be, one second. Favorite copy ability? 
TP, take it away. Uh, I'm a big fan of Suplex. Suplex. For me, it's got to be Ninja, <laughs> which you will see in the run. You'll see actually both of them. They, they, they have about five seconds of fame each. You see Suplex in an entire room of the run. Oh, Keep man. an eye out. <laughs> OK, cool. All right, so I've got two quick questions before we leave today. So how many mixed attempts is going to take at the beginning of Dino Blade for each of you? Oh, come on. Let's do it. One. 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 Absolutely. First Just try. One, first Watch try. out for it. First try from both first of them. First try. And then one last question from me. USA versus Japan, who's taking it today? <laughs> oh, USA. All right. USA. So USA all the way. Oh, yeah. All right. We Thanks, guys, for joining me so much. And yeah, check it out. Make sure to watch the Kirby Superstar race coming up later today. And we're going to kick it back over to the host. Hi, everybody. We're gearing up to watch Jack and Daxter, the precursor-led legacy from Headstrong 1290. We have a $30 donation from L, L for L. Third time watcher, second time donating. Love the event, and let's hype for the $1 million. Shout out to my brother, Victor, L for L. We have a $75 donation. Shout outs to the Melee community at AGDQ. This donation comes from the Melee tournament with incentive going to winner's choice. NES Kamikaze decided kill the animals. We have a $100 donation from anonymous donor. We are number one, but it's AGDQ. Stefan Carl Stephenson, also known as Robbie Rotten, is actually a very nice guy and sadly has cancer. Let's call the Dark Souls 3 character Robbie Rotten. Thanks to, for a great event to all involved in this AGDQ. Good luck, Robbie, and th greetings from Denmark. $20 from Rabzi. Thanks to everyone behind the camera for a great job. Much love from Sweden. Harambe39 donates $75 to one day stomp out cancer. Let's get that $1 million like last time. Gamers Unite. $20 from Food and Blunts. My uncle is fighting cancer, and this is a great cause. I love to watch when the stream is on. Sly Cooper is an all-time favorite series. Love to see it run. Save the animals. And we're ready, and we're going to throw it over to Headstrong with a Jack and Daxter run. All right. Cool. All right, so we're good? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. We're ready. All right. Yep. I guess we're all ready. Oh, wait. <laughs> It's actually going to show something there before we started the run. Oh, you just went straight together. Yeah, hold on here. <laughs> Go ahead, <strong>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so before we start the run, I just wanted to show this little cool thing real fast that happened a while back, and I actually kept it on my memory card for when I ever, if this ever came to be a run for a marathon. And that is this lovely file right here. Um, <laughs> in the middle of one of my uh, no major skips runs, actually, I accidentally got this. And I ended up with a negative 2 billion percent run that thinks it's from the future. It's from 2054. <laughs> so. <laughs> really sick overflow. <laughs> Wonderful. Un oh, got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea how that happened, but it happened, and yeah. <laughs> um, a sec here. And I actually need to load from a separate area for our timing to be correct here. I'll talk about it when the run starts. All right, we all good? Yeah. Yeah. Countdown. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Jack and Daxter, everybody. So um, we turn hints off um, in the settings before we actually uh, like load in. So usually you get a cutscene with uh, a little Kira robot talking to you. But since we turn hits off, it makes the game a lot faster, uh, a lot less tutorial-ish. So uh, make it generally faster. As well as um, the reason why we didn't start a new game save file was because um, one reason is that there's a six minute cutscene, so we wouldn't want to watch that every time we restart a run. That's kind of ridiculous, so there's a consistent timing method 
in which we go uh, start new save, uh, new game save. We save the game before coming out of the portal, and then um, what we do is load from either Sandover or some other save file, load into Geyser and take the memory card out when the screen goes black, um, so that everybody has the same timing before you come out of the portal, so that the gameplay is like, so we have all the gameplay. Yeah, for now it's just gonna be finishing up Geyser, and yeah. then a cutscene, so now it would be fine for donations. Yeah, definitely. All right, we have a $5 donation from Cathal. Hey, Headstrong, Cathal here. Do you remember those dared bonk challenges I mentioned a couple weeks ago in your channel? Oh, God. <laughs> Guess what? Let's do it. For every unintentional bonk, I will donate five bucks. Oh, for God. every intentional oh. bonk, one buck. Or bonk. Or buck. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> if you go bonk free, which you don't, I will donate 75 bucks. By the way, good luck at Claw and Lava Tube Skip. <laughs> Thank you, Cathal. <Kathleen. laughs> nice. And a $75 donation from RPM. Loving all the runs. Took the day off so I could watch the PlayStation block, and I had to get a donation in before one of my favorite games, Jack and Daxter. Good luck to all the runners. Putting this towards that genocide boss in Undertale. All right. So we're now in the first hub world of three in the game, and a lot of the movement throughout this place is just chaining together roll jumps and punches. Uh, but the main goal here is to just collect 20 power cells as quickly as we can and cross Fire Canyon. To do that, uh, we're also going to be collecting 120 precursor orbs along the way to buy a power cell before Fire Canyon. And we'll also be picking up scout flies in the levels. There's seven in each area, and collecting all seven rewards you with a power cell. And since we'll be traveling around pretty much all of the area, in the levels we go to, it's just basically a free power cell that we can just pick up. My name is Fisherman. Okay, so we passed Fisherman. Um, the only reason is because Misty uh, usually has a lot, a lot of the faster cells, but catching fish is just super long. Also, it's just RNG. Uh, so this is the substitution would be that uh, we go to either Sentinel Beach or, yeah, no, we just go to Sentinel Beach. So you'll see Headstrong picking up a bunch of blue stuff, and that's Blue Eco. Uh, what it does, it acts as a magnet to bring orbs and scout flies straight to Jack instead of having to actually go get them, like right there. Uh, and it also increases Jack's movement speed and his jump distance, which is really, really helpful. Uh, and then it also increases the speed of zoomers when you're on them. Yeah, definitely. And right about here, um, Headstrong will be doing a boost into the water with the eco. And he didn't get a very good one, but you can also do water hops right here, as you can see, is the fastest way to travel through water um, with blue eco. And the other fastest way, if you don't have any blue eco, what you can do is um, sort of toggle or move up on the inputs over and over and bring it back to neutral. And that's the second way to, to do swimming. So Headstrong is um, going down the temple at this point to meet with the first boss, plant boss. Uh, pretty sick dude. <laughs> and also open up the blue eco vent, uh, which will help open up all the blue eco vents in the entire game. Um, so, as Jazz talked about, uh, how Blue Eco is so much faster, and we kind of need it, you know, uh, to get the 20 cells fast enough, so it'll be up right here. There's also a uh, skip with Plant Boss. Um, it's called Bite Skip, and there's two ways you can do it. Headstrong does the fastest way possible, which saves a second over Bite Skip. Bite Skip saves six seconds, I believe, um, yeah. total. So we'll see if he gets fast or semi-fast. And got the nice. fast one. That's really good. Uh, let's see. Jazz, you want to talk about the little skips here? <laughs> yeah, so you'll see 
You'll see a Headstrong intentionally taking damage throughout this fight. That's faster, uh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Save frames. Uh, and the reason is to set up a death warp, because after this fight, we're going to get out of temple and then get one more cell, and then the death warp will put us back uh, right at the front of jungle, so we can just go and do another warp after that, which is just turning the camera around so it thinks you're in Sentinel. Yeah. So the game thinks you're in, not Sentinel, but Sandover Village. And then you can save the game and load the game, and it'll put you back in the default spawn point for Sandover Village, which is convenient. And every level in the game has a default spawn point, and that's really helpful. Ooh, it says forbidden. Bye bye, old save game. No. Uh, no. <laughs> watch, it, watch it crash. <laughs> Oh, you got it. Nice. Uh, now we're just going to make our way over to Sentinel Beach. And we'll do Sentinel Beach like we do NMS. Um, no major skips or old any percent. So there's nothing really different from previous runs, really. So coming up there's this pelican, and he's going to eat this power cell that we're coming up to, uh, that we want. And normally, the thing that you would have to do to get that cell is you'd have to go up to the nest, punch the pelican, and then race him across the beach for it. But another method that not a lot of people know about who played this game is you can actually just go up to the cannon on top of this tower. On yeah, and shoot a bomb on his head, and then he blows up, and you can... <laughs> And you can just go pick up the cell from his nest. By the way, you can climb that tower yes. if you didn't know. And rip pelican. Boom. Bye bye pelican. <laughs> <laughs> also, right here, as you can see, the game is start uh, decided to auto save. When Headstrong saved from FJ to Sandover, um, because he took the memory card out and auto save feature isn't on, it turns on once you save the game at every power cell that you get. Yeah, and these these are birds. Basically right RNG. Basically RNG, pretty much. Yeah, they they can take uh, up to like the last the last sentinel the Hezron will go to. You have to scare them, and they can either get scared immediately, which is really nice if they want to do that. But sometimes they, they can, can take, take like twenty seconds. They can take up to oh twenty God. seconds. There's one. Ringe. Yeah, and you know you know you scared them when you hear the sound. And they cause an avalanche because why not? Yeah, it just drops a parasol. Uh, helps you get up to that platform even though you can make it with like a high jump. Yeah. And so right here you can see the blue ego vent is now uh, open from when we were in the temple. And you'll see that a lot. Uh, most of the blue ego vents will be open. Also, you can see that Headstrong skipped the orbs over there because Headstrong basically has enough orbs um, with the, the route he's going at um, to talk to the oracles to get that 120 by the end of it. So really doesn't need to go out of his way to get any more orbs other than the ones that are within the route. Also, right here, green eco vents. Uh, you might have heard that Samos was talking about that being the first mission that you'd go to. We don't follow lamps, bro. No. Also, uh, there's a really quick way. The eco that Headstrong got from way before, he still has it, and and he got it. Nice. Wow. That's that's ridiculously hard. You have no room to get that unless you get like perfect eco. Yeah. Eco cloggers. So, coming up is a, a scout fly, and then we're gonna go push this egg off of a cliff along this ridge, and. It's to free a bird called Flut Flut that you can ride. We won't be doing that in this run. We're not going to see Flut Flut at all, besides this. But even though there's a 40 second cutscene in front of this cell, it's still faster than anything else that we could go and get. Uh, and then after this cutscene is just some quick cleanup in Sentinel Beach, and then a load warp back to Sandover Village. So, no. There's uh, a substitution 120 orbs that you can get. Yeah. I mean, you really don't need to go out of your way to like collect that many orbs. It's kind of just it's like the same speed. Yeah. But yeah. Too now it'd be good for donations. Okay, we have 
a $100 donation from Emerald W. My best friend's mom passed away of cancer yesterday. He can't donate right now, but I can. Everyone deserves a chance to live as long as they can. So save the animals and forget the frames. We have $10 from I'm Rubik. Good luck with Lava Tube Skip. The Jack community is watching. Hey. Hey. Boomer. $5 from Zexin. Really happy to see another year starting with AGDQ. Best of luck on the run, Headstrong, from me and, of course, from the entire Jack community. Money goes to Runner's Choice, HS Love. And an anonymous $10 donation. So hyped to see how the Jack One run goes. Seeing as it's Headstrong, the game is definitely going to be destroyed. Donation goes to Headstrong's Choice. Headstrong's at, like, God pace right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so the rest of this is just cleaning up Sandover Village, like talking to Oracle and spending 120 orbs that we have. Also, after this cutscene, uh, you're going to see something, uh, call a little cool little bit of movement tech in this game called a boosted extended uppercut. And what it is, whenever you get on a ledge in this game, like stand on a ledge, it like slides you off of it. Uh, so we can use that to our advantage. We can uppercut off of that like sliding force, I guess, that the game uses, and yeah. just get crazy distance off of it. Which is coming up. It's right. coming up right here. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see that um, another time later. We'll talk about that. Also, since we're on our way to Fire Canyon, uh, this was found about last week. It's not RTA viable. It's actually ridiculous, but uh, Fire Canyon skip which is faster by one minute uh, than the run that we're doing now. You would just go from Geyser straight to Fire Canyon, go oob, uh, do pretty much invisible blind ledge grabs for eight minutes straight, and go halfway into Fire Canyon, and then do a little... No, yeah, that thing will it, we won't, we won't spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> we might start working on that next week. Some eight minute ledge grabs. No, oh man, <laughs> can't see anything. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the field's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't Should we do forget donations? to activate the yeah, teleport gate right. in the blue phases. We have seventy-five dollars from Chief Masamune. I have to donate for Jack and Daxter. I remember playing this game and one on one presenting it multiple times. I hope we can see a run of Jack two next time. Also, kill the animals. A $100 anonymous donation. Appreciate all the hard work that everyone puts in to raise money for a good cause. $100 from Ray105. Third time watching, first time donating. Thanks for all the amazing speedruns you make each year. Lots of kisses from France. And kill the frames, save the animals. Okay, so... Coming up in Hub 2, the, we're only going to be able to need to collect one thing uh, throughout the rest of the run being health. We need we need full health, which is 50. Uh, the number right next to the health meter needs to say 50 by the time we get to hub three. This health is extremely crucial for this route. And especially it, to go fast, like yeah. get the fastest time, you need to keep this health all the way up until where you actually need it. Yeah. Otherwise you're gonna have to get health somewhere else that wastes a lot of time. And so right here you need um, 27 in Rock Village, and we'll get the rest in Mountain Pass. Rip boosted. And then coming up is a skip called Boulder Skip. Normally, uh, you would need to collect 45 power cells in Rock Village uh, to get Kira to move the boulder so you can get up into Mountain Pass. But using a clever, using some clever jumps, you can just kind of not have to do that and get up to the claw fight. This uh, is a really old skip. Yeah. It's um, one of the older ones, but a, a year old skip is coming up right about here. This skip sucks. If you thought yeah. the last <laughs> skip was hard, the skip is terrible. Um, Piggle, Bloppy, and I uh, kind of formed it a little bit. Uh, what you do is you gotta <laughs> ledge grab into the corner, like basically frame perfect um, ledge grab. There's another way to do this. Um, we'll talk about that if we need to. Uh, you want to talk about the specifics, the technicalities of this? 
Yeah, you want to ledge grab a ledge over there uh, that we're about to get to. Uh, that you want to ledge grab it on the same frame that you would die on the death plane. And uh, no oh, way. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Headstrong's gonna get G-Recky. Gonna get G-Recky. Is um, <laughs> it G-Recky pace? Yeah. So that was that was sick. Um, <laughs> all right. So right about here, Headstrong's gonna show you guys something sick just for you guys. Um, one thing, don't drink and drive. <laughs> it's coming up. Hey! Headstrong is the only one in the world that can do this. Yeah. Uh, it's because it's fixed on uh, Claw's camera still, because it thinks you're still finding Claw. So you got to finish Mountain Pass with this nasty camera uh, and <laughs> travel through it literally blind. <laughs> but uh, Headstrong's memorized it pretty well. It's pretty hilarious. Also, you don't need to go out of your way to get orbs or scout flies um, because it doesn't matter at this point. Hub 3, we just did Hub 2 skip. What's coming up next, we won't be going into any of the uh, like Spire Cave, Snowy, nothing like that. This is LTS. Yeah, uh, you can also go too fast in Mountain Pass. If you just get all the blue eco and go as fast as you can, Ooh. you can actually... <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was uh, sketch. You can actually get to the end and the game will kill you anyway because it, I guess, yeah, you just go too fast. Uh, so there's points like right here where Headstrong will intentionally slow down to make sure he doesn't go too fast and die. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Blame Andy Gavin. <laughs> here comes a big one. All right. <laughs> Fisherman reference. Uh, okay, something, something really legit's coming up. I don't know if you want to talk about it. Yeah. It's kind of hard to describe. Well, we're going on our way to, to Lava Tube and uh, doing some big skips. Maybe a little, oh, there's a bonk. That was unintentional, though. Uh, All right, so coming up yeah. here is a trick called Rocket Uppercut. So my goal is going to be to uppercut into this plank at the exact same moment that I bonk on it. And doing so, oh, oh nice. No, so no, this no, happens no. sometimes here, actually. Don't get dark. Witch. Oh, my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, the game likes to lag out here a lot, so that can happen. But the goal here is to uppercut into this plank at the exact same time I bonk, and it'll use the momentum to launch me up into the air, like so. Ooh, oh, nice. that was weird. That was a weird one, yeah. And clip out of bounds. You hit, like, both of the, the points. <laughs> at least you didn't get dark glitch, though. Yeah, that would suck. And now we wait. <laughs> yes, and now we wait. <laughs> Make sure to take out your phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, take your phone. <laughs> So come right here, I actually need to wait in place for 30 seconds to store the checkpoint for Lava Tube with Jack's idle animation. It's the only way that we can actually keep our full health here in order to do the skip that I'll be doing here shortly. Uh, we need full health in order to do it, and it's the only way to store the area with keeping full health. So that was Jack's idle animation. So now we're going to come back over here, make the game back into Volcanic Crater. Jump around the lava oh, tube load zone, which I did not get there. So I gotta go back and do this. So make it back to Volcanic Crater. That should should work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Ooh, that, <laughs> that crack in the <laughs> screen. So now we are in Volcanic Crater while we're in lava tube. You can hear from the music as well as from the pause menu. And Naughty Dog was very nice, and they left all these random cold spots throughout the entirety of Lava Tube, uh, so we can just kind of traverse here on foot rather than with the zoomer. Kind of a coincidence. Winky dink. <laughs> cool winky dink. Right. So coming up here, I am going to be doing an extremely difficult uh, boosted extended uppercut off of a scout fly. It's very low to the ground, and really close to lava, so it's very, very precise. Okay. Yo, nice. <laughs> That's insane. Yo. <laughs> no way. First T claw skip, first um, T scout fly boosted. That's like... All right, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We still have to wait 28 and a half seconds and got to get this pause buffer. Heart's racing. That was not expected. <laughs> Didn't even have to go to Spider Cave. Oh, 
Jack twitched. Yeah. yeah. That means you got it. All right, we're good. Um, these are oranges. You shoot them. <laughs> yeah, so, we shoot oranges. So what just happened there is by pausing at the same time as Jack doing his idle animation, the game kind of freaked out and it despawned Volcanic Crater. And by doing so, it didn't really know where to send me to. So it knew that I had the lava tube like as a checkpoint. So it needed it tried to default me into uh, into a checkpoint in lava tube. And since that very specific spot is closer to the second checkpoint than the first checkpoint. Uh, it's why it brings me to that one rather than to the first one, allowing us to bypass needing the 72 power cells required for accessing this area normally. Now we just got to finish clearing out um, Lava Tube here, and then we'll have quite a bit more skips right at the end as well. This is going to be like a 25. <laughs> I'm gonna be That's sick. ridiculous. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> uh, so at the end of the game coming up, there's a lot of things involving pause buffer, which if you pause and press uh, either L2 or R2 to uh, bring up the heads up display at the same time, you can, the game can't pause when the heads up display is up, uh, but you can make it think it's paused when the, as the heads up display is up. So it'll give you around like two seconds to do whatever you want. So you can yeah. hit, you can start cutscenes and then die. Walk through them without the cutscene playing. Yeah, and then like die, so. and then the cutscene is gone. So. Bye, Kira. And then that'll open this door right here. Now this is another uh, pause buffer. All you do is pause buffer, roll jump through the cutscene that usually plays, and die. Huh. But another thing will happen right here, and this is Black Label exclusive. As you can see, at the top of Citadel, Citadel skip. <laughs> yeah, it's just a like a flagging error. Uh, in the Black Label version, you can just kind of get up to the top like that. Yeah. A lot happened there in the last like 30 seconds, but oh. when Headstrong punched into the cell at the top, there was another cutscene, the last Samos cutscene with Gol and Maya and whatever. Uh, you can hold down R2 and then pause at the same time you grab the cell and it'll autosave and all you do is load and you'll skip the cutscene. Uh, that's another skip. Just punch off the edge after six seconds. And now Headstrong is going to attempt, this was found kind of recently too, um, some one frame tricks. Nice. Gets it first T. First what is this? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <do> what? <laughs> and now there's three of them that you can do. Each one saves three seconds, except the last one, which saves six. Uh, oh god, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, last one saves six, so if he gets a six second, six second time save, then I'd be really sick. If he gets all three, I'm done with Jack. Like, it's over. <laughs> My PB is like a 25 something, and I don't know. All three of us make up like half the community that makes up LTS runs. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Because people just don't want to do it. The sky fly boosted is impossible. It's, it's hard, dude. It's hard. All right, here comes the one frame. I knew it. Nice. Two out of three. Save six seconds. This is the best possible outcome that could have happened for yeah. Jack. <laughs> Least expected. This was a really sketch run, to tell you the truth, but it came out right. Also, roar skip. Yeah. All you do is jump. There's two cutscenes where the boss roars, and you can just, they can't play when you're in the air, so you can just kind of jump through yeah. them, and they never happen. Saves frames. For, yeah. <laughs> Middle frames. Uh, 35 seconds from Daxter. Cutscene. And that's the end of the game. Yeah, so right when we touch the light eco, will be time. Be in like 30 seconds ish from here. With all the luck that you've gotten so far, you'll probably get God spawn. So it's like, <laughs> what is it? Oh my God. Yeah, this is sorry, 25. Okay, it's gonna be a 25. We'll oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's it. That's sick. All right. Let's see where it'll be. Three, two, one, boom. Time. Time. Tied, Zoe. <laughs>
Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> so it is LTS too. It's really good. Yeah. Good job, that was sick. <laughs> now they're doing their lovely little dance for victory here. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is Jack and Daxter, everybody. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Jack skip. <laughs> yeah, that's we're good. Yeah. PlayStation Nation. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was Jack and Daxter in 25 minutes. And let me just say, we got a $1,000 donation from Derek. Had to donate during, oh, sorry. Had to donate during Jack and Daxter. Can I get a single clap for a great game? $110 donation from Crazy Fish. My eight-year-old daughter is watching her first GDQ marathon with me and she's been loving it. We wanted to make a donation together, so she's putting $10 towards saving the animals. She's forbidden me from donating towards killing the animals, so put $100 towards saving the frames instead. This is for you, Caitlin. Love, Dad. <laughs> 